Hey everybody, it's Gavin Syme and the Aperture presets are here. I'm really excited to show you Lightflow for Aperture. This has been a long time in coming. Really the process started all the way back uh, when uh, Aperture 3 came out and I started working with the presets and seeing what I could do, releasing tidbits here and there. And uh, kind of all this was working together for this complete workflow creativity collection for Aperture. And I think you're really going to like what you see. So let's jump into Aperture here and I'm going to show you what Lightflow can do. And uh, I just have a, an album here with a hundred or so images and we're just going to play around with some of these. I'm going to show you some of the presets. Probably not going to be able to get to all of them for sure, but you can head over to the site simeffects.com, which is where you can get Lightflow and you can also see lots more examples and information and details and stuff like that on the collection. There's also a freebie pack over there from Lightflow that uh, you can download for free that has uh, a sampler of Lightflow presets. So if nothing else, head over there and check that out. Let's start, I'm gonna go to presets and edit presets and then go to Lightflow. And let's start by just kind of giving you a quick rundown of what's inside Lightflow. So we start with the Essentials Collection. And this kind of harkens a little bit to my uh, Lightroom presets in terms of what I've learned over there for organization and workflow and setting up a collection of presets to be really efficient and really creative. But we start with the Essentials, which is started off by the Super Series presets. The Super Series are like the ultimate batch correction presets. These are made to be do, excuse me, to be applied from one image to a thousand images and just be a really universal correction for a large amount of images and really get your workflow started on the right track in terms of a general correction for these files we're producing in these digital cameras today. So it starts with the Super Simple, which is one of my favorites because it's powerful, but it's pretty subtle. Super Gentle is actually even more subtle. Super Hero is a bit more intense for if you need a bit more work done on them and some auto tones and stuff like that. Same with Super Powers. And then Super Silver is an auto, auto, uh, correct, auto uh, monochrome, black and white correction conversion. So just a simple set of very powerful, effective workflow presets to get everything started in the essentials category. And then we also have vignettes and quick exposure settings and things like that. And then we go down into color basics. And that is everything from you know adding some snap and pop to dealing with dynamic range and color tones and stuff like that. Not real intense effects, but very powerful for really getting those color images on the right track. Uh, down in category two is color masters. That gets into a bit more serious stuff in terms of getting into cross processes and blending channels and hues and really getting into some creative stuff and uh, a lot of a lot of fun effects in there. Then we have the black and whites in category three. Those of you that know my work know that I love black and white, so some good black and whites in there. And then category four is some utilities for sharpening and things like that. But all in all, over 55 presets here and just really a do-it-all preset collection that uh, works for a huge variety of stuff. So let's start actually, I'm in the browser view in this grid and I'm gonna zoom in and uh, tighten this up just a little bit. Normally I would apply this to the whole batch, but what I'm going to do for purposes of today, for speed purposes, since I'm working with full res files, is I'm just going to select like six of these and just kind of give you a starting point and show you what's going on with these presets. So what I would do typically with a workflow I call the grid edit. And if you want to learn more about this, if you head over to signeffects.com, this article is over there. And it's also linked in the Lightflow product page. And it kind of gives a rundown of how I do my workflow from start to finish. But the concept of the grid edit is that you start in the grid and you start with a batch correction preset to get everything looking good and sort all the bad ones out that you don't want and then do basic corrections like maybe a little exposure here and there to get the general tone and feel of the entire collection looking good and then you jump into more creative edits and things like that in the viewer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here with a preset. Normally you'd apply a preset right from here uh, but what that would do from here is it would just apply it to the active image, which is this one in the bottom right. I want to apply it to all of them. So to do a batch, you can select a group, then go to Add Adjustment Preset in the Photos menu, go to Light Flow, and you can pick any preset you want. In this case, I'm going to use Super Simple. And as you can also see here, I've assigned a shortcut to Super Simple because I really like to use that for a lot of things. So I'm just going to go out of here and click Command S, and I'm going to apply Super Simple. Now as it's going through these, you, you can see that it's going to change them pretty radically and uh, do some really cool corrections to these, but it's meant to be a really general purpose effect. And uh, I have some raw and some JPEG files in here just to kind of mix it up. But you know, if I had a thousand files, I could go through and apply this to all of them. And there's, there's no auto preset that's gonna nail every single image every time. But what it does is it really gets you off to a good start so that you can spend time focusing on your best images and make them really, really phenomenal and uh, have the ones that are your good images, you know, get the batch going on that and save a lot of time. 
Let me zoom out just a little bit. So what I would do, let's pretend I'm doing this grid edit, even though I haven't applied these presets to everything. And let's say I'm in here, and uh, I'm just gonna apply it to a couple more. Select those and Command X. But let's say I'm in here and I'm going through these, and I want to just kind of get the tone feeling right in terms of exposure and stuff like that. So what I've done, if you go to presets, and you'll see up here I have quick expose up and quick expose down. That's essentially a half, half a stop adjustment. Now there's also the default presets and quick fixes that come with aperture and those are plus one and minus one. So what I've done is I've taken my quick expose preset and assigned that to the right bracket key. So I can go in here and right bracket and get about a half a stop up. And then that default plus one or plus minus preset I can assign to command bracket right or left to give a little bit more. So I can go through in that sense and quickly boost exposure and drop exposure accordingly if I think things need it. Let's say I look at this one, it seems a little bright. I'm going to drop that one down. These two are a little bright. Let me select both of those and uh, drop that down with a bracket. Now I could also work with sliders and stuff over here from this grid mode and just kind of go over and get a general tone that's looking good for all these images. Then I can go into more creative stuff and get into some of the other presets and uh, start having some fun with it. So let's actually do that now. Let's jump in and start looking at some of the others and go into the viewer here. And I'm just gonna go through and show you some different presets from Lightflow. I'm not gonna be able to cover all of them because it would take too long, but I'm just gonna start grabbing some and showing them to you. Let's try People Power on this one. And just kind of a nice general use portrait, but I'm actually gonna left bracket and drop that exposure, which is still a little too much in this case. So I'm gonna bring it up a little bit with a slider. There's nothing wrong with taking a preset and then doing some manual sliders. The preset will get you really close, and if you wanna play around with it, just go in there and, and work with it. Uh, let's go and just keep grabbing some stuff here. And I'm gonna do, let's do superhero on this one. And let's try Rich and Vibrant on this one. And that's actually a little bit too dark. I would probably try something else. So to just quickly get back from that, I'm gonna do Command S and apply the super simple preset and uh, even up those tones just a little bit. Um, let's go and go into here. Let's take another one. And I'm just picking kind of some random stuff here to give you an idea of what's in here. Let's go for Color Dance, and see what it does to this one. There, that's cool, I like how it, how it worked with the textures. I would probably crop off this right side, but I can deal with that later. Just gonna keep browsing through here. And let's go down into the Color Masters and try something like Yesterday's Fashion. I like that, it applies a little bit of vignette with that one too. Go to the split view so I have my thumbnails. Let's try Classica on this one. Awesome. So you can kind of see how I'm doing. What I would do in a normal workflow is I would have my favorites and you know maybe take my five stars or my four stars and start working some of these more creative effects and then go from there. Let's actually go in, let's try one of these cross processes on this one. We got all these trees and cool stuff going on back there. Let's go and to the color masters and try gently crossed and see how that one looks. And it's there we go. Cool. I like that. Let's try let's try another cross and just see what other options we can have. Let's try chemical mix up on this one. And that just gives a different variation, which I actually like that one a little better. It's really warm and nice. Let's go down and just grab a couple more, maybe a landscape or something like that. And uh, let's try this one here. And let's do a black and white on this one. Let's go down to category three and let's try wilderness maybe or old masters. Let's do old masters. And let that run. Ooh, that looks really good. I really like the tones. It's not blowing out the highlights in the sky. It's keeping things nice. Here's one here, here's a, a baby one. There's actually a preset in here and there's some various vintage presets. And I don't wanna call this so much a vintage one. It's actually in category one, it's called Little Faces. And let me just apply this 
And it's not just for babies, but it works really good because a lot of times you can get that Oompa Loompa kind of skin with a baby. And when you apply this, it just really softens thing up, things up. Let me actually reset that to show you the original. And then go in here again and apply the little faces. And you can just see how it kind of tones down those flesh tones and those skin tones and really makes things look good. Let's go back out here. And let's take this one here. Let's try... One of the vintage effects, maybe Faded Glory. That's a really nice vintage effect. Oh, I really like that. Not real over the top. It's subtle. There's a, there's a lot of subtlety. So there, what you're going to see in this collection is a lot of presets that are uh, bold, but uh, also a lot of really subtle ones. The goal is not just to crank up the contrast and the saturation as much as possible and call it, call it a, a fancy effect. The goal is to really get in here. And I've spent a lot of time getting in under the hood and working with channels and things like that to give us a lot of power in the way that we edit our images. Let's do something with the dynamic range. Let's try something like Gentle HDR, which just kind of brings back some of this dynamic range. And wow, that just really brought back a lot of information into that. And I, I'll use these ones. There's actually that one, and there's a couple others in here. There's uh, Dynamic Light, which is a little more subtle, and the Equalizer, which is actually a little more intense for bringing in those details, especially in those sunlit scenes that can be really hard, sometimes at weddings or other events too. You just have no choice but to shoot in the sun, and some of those presets can be really useful for that. So there's a huge variety of stuff here that you can work with, and I mean, it just goes on and on. I could spend an hour showing you all these different effects and trying different things, but I'd run out of time. So <laughs> let's, uh, we'll keep it simple. Let me apply chemical mix up to this one. Wow. That's really cool. And then I'm gonna right bracket and just bring up the exposure on that just a little bit. So you can see where I'm going with this. You can see the concept of light flow. This whole set of presets that takes it from the start of the workflow and then goes all the way in through creative effects and black and whites and all that kind of stuff and really gets you a really broad variety. So that's the gist of light flow. You can check it out over on simeffects.com and see more samples and more information and download freebies and all that good stuff. But I just wanted to show you what's in there, and I'm really excited about this set. I think you're really going to enjoy it. All right, take care, everybody.